Hey everyone, I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome to a little different video today. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, we are primarily a motorcycle channel, but every once in a while, uh, I share my camera equipment with you guys, and today is one of those days, because I have, uh, and generally I use a GoPro 9, for my vlogging on my helmet and uh, around the garage for the builds and stuff like that. And uh, well, I use the Max lens, which is the add-on lens that uh, GoPro sells to make this kind of wide angle, extra wide angle lens. Uh, and um, the nine has this kind of correction to kind of make it not distorted, make it not look like a fisheye. Well, recently while I was at Laguna Seca, I took a rock to the middle of the lens and well you guys will see in one of the videos it looks like there's a bug on there and uh, well it's been destroyed so uh, this is the max lens and this is actually a GoPro without a lens on the front now the max lenses this is what it is uh, is basically just this little uh, adapter so this is what the max lens looks like and these cost $100 and uh, God. If I gotta keep going through these, uh, it's gonna be quite expensive because of course we're on the road a lot so things get kicked up at us. So I tried to find an alternative and finally I've found it. Uh, this is, uh, I'll link everything in the description below, the QKOO fish eye lens. And it's a little lens that comes in this little pouch and it's a little lens like the Max lens that fits on your GoPro. Now here is the pros and cons to it. First, the pro is it's half the price, $45 for this new little lens. But is it the quality and does it record to the same uh, expectation that we've seen out of the Mac? So, I am going to stack these cameras together. I'm gonna to do a little work around the garage, take you guys on a little walk outside. And one of the things I noticed, I'm gonna take you in a little bit of a low light condition because it's surprising, give you a little hint, this little fisheye actually allows more light in than the Max lens. But, I'll give you this spoiler as well, I'm gonna to continue to use a Max lens on these cameras. So let's go ahead and fire up both these cameras, do a little comparison, uh, top and bottom. I'll walk around the house a little bit, do a little bit of work, and uh, get you guys in that low light condition and see if this lens, or this lens, is gonna be right for you. So uh, let's get these things fired up and um, let's go for a little walk. All right guys, so we've got both of the cameras mounted on top of each other. The GoPro Max lens is up on the top and the lower one is this uh, knockoff fisheye lens. So uh, a little bit, you guys can kind of see the, the field of view is a little bit wider with the fisheye lens, but the fisheye lens creates this distortion on the outer edges. So as we uh, turn this thing around, we'll go ahead and take a walk outside and just get our first look from our dark to our light so very very nice but already you guys are going to already start to see the bottom lens is starting to have this gopro distortion so you guys will see that on the bottom lens where the max lens doesn't quite have it so let's go ahead and walk over to the park walk through some trees go into some low light go into some highlights and see how this thing does all right, so we're gonna start walking from a basically sunny situation. And we are going to walk through this little grove of trees. We've got the sun coming straight at us. So that should create a little bit of uh, difference. But from what I can see on the screen behind, it looks like right now, the GoPro, the top one, is allowing a little bit more light in. It looks like the lower one is a little bit darker, nothing major. But we'll go ahead and walk all the way through and get to the sunny playground and see how it adjusts from the dark lighting to the full sunlight. 
Now, uh, I'm using a little handheld unipod or a little selfie stick. So hopefully the hyper smooth is working well. Now, both settings are on horizon lock. So this will be the not too bad on the screen, the look on it. Now, this is where you're gonna start to see that outer screen come in. Now, I adjusted the um, lens, or excuse me, the settings to the lineal, and then you can barely see that kind of side to side movement. But uh, as you can see, going from that super bright behind me, it's kind of both of them have kind of adjusted pretty well. Um, I don't know. It's for me, because we're on the motorcycle, and as you guys know, for motorsports, when you guys are doing that moving of the car, that black area is not going to work for me personally. And it the distortion for me personally is a little bit too much on the outside the gopro max lens i think does a little bit better with the correction of the distortion so let's head over to the house and let's look at this low light condition that i noticed on uh the fisheye lens and show you how it actually does work a little bit better so let's head over to the house and show you guys that all right so this is where i really noticed it so when i came into the house and I went to a very kind of extreme low light condition, which was these keys. This is where I really noticed that the lower camera actually, it looks like it's allowing a little bit more light in that darker situation. So you can see it's, you know, it's daytime, but when we get into this darker, the coloring of the green and the red seems a little bit more vibrant on the bottom camera opposed to the top camera. All right, so one last final shot. This is my chesty cam. This is what I do to when I work on the bikes to show you guys a little bit of the detail of what I'm doing. Uh, today, we're actually going to be filming the video on the all new 2022 BMW S1000 single R and well, we're putting this bad boy back on it. We've got the SC Project exhaust with the full header going on today. Um, so we'll have the chesty cam on. And usually with the chesty cam, I go with the lineal. So it's actually brought in a little bit closer um, to give you guys a little bit more of a detailed look. But what's nice about this kind of particular view right now is it's showing you kind of going in and out of darker places and lighter places, changing from the sun backlight to a darker backlight, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it looks like when you guys are filming around the shop. Maybe this this lens will work for you. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off and then I'm gonna do one other test. I'm gonna turn both of these on lineal view and then do a quick walk around and uh, see how much difference this changes from this, this kind of bowing that this is doing right now and see if we can get that eliminated down just a little bit. All right, so now we're in the lineal view. So this is lineal with the max lens adaptment setting, okay? And you can see now the lens is, actually the lower lens has a little bit more depth to it, but again, a little bit more distortion to the outside. Let's go ahead and move this thing side to side. And now you see that it's cropped down enough that we're not getting this kind of bowing on outside. So the lineal view is definitely giving us a little bit better view. And then again, let's go ahead and step outside and go for a little walk. Now this is on my chesty cam, so it is bouncing around a little bit. So this is actually a good opportunity for us to take a look and see how well this hyper smooth is working. Because like I said, I'm not supporting it at all. Both the cameras are stacked up on my chest. So um, it's bouncing a little bit. So it should be giving you guys a little bounce, but let's see how well that hyper smooth is working on that lower camera compared to the Max Pro camera. So uh, again, the Max Low uh, Pro is up on top 
and then we've got the fisheye lens down on the bottom so if you guys uh, don't want to spend the hundred dollars on this one anymore this might be a good consideration so let's go ahead and get an outro and uh, wrap this up and give you guys my final 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 thought all right so now i guess it comes down to which is better which provides a better look for you guys the max lens which is a hundred dollars pretty much all across the board you pretty much can't find it cheaper at all or this uh fisheye lens that cost $45 off Amazon. Now, half price, is it worth it? For me, uh, unfortunately, because of the action camera portion, um, it doesn't really work. It has too much distortion. I might be able to crop it into lineal, which still kind of gave us a little bit wider view on that fisheye lens, and then you didn't get that black framing coming into play. Um, but I'm not sure. The other thing I do want to point out that I didn't really talk about is the mounting on the Max lens compared to the fisheye lens. So on the fisheye lens, you'll see that there's just these little wires here on the side. And um, it's secure, but the Max lens is like, it's almost, you almost got to wrench it on. Uh, where this one kind of goes on a little bit more smooth. So when you're, when you're putting it on, it kind of just, it's kind of a little bit loose, not too much. I don't want to say it's not good, but um, it's definitely not as tight as um, the GoPro Max one. So um, I don't know, I'm gonna continue to use the GoPro Max. Hopefully we'll get another lens out that will actually be more like the GoPro Max that is a cheaper value because like I said, you know, this is actually Bogna's GoPro Max and um, it's already got it's already got a few rock chips in it. Nothing that you can really notice. The one that I had pretty much was just right in the middle and it just, it's done so uh thank you guys for sticking around uh, i hope this is informational um look i'm at no way a camera reviewer guy so if you guys have come across this look if you guys love motorcycles this is going to be the channel for you guys if you guys are looking for camera reviews <laughs> sorry um this is not going to be the channel for you but hopefully it gives you guys some insight because like i said a lot of you guys ask about the gopros and what it or what cameras we use and what mics we use and um, that's what we're using we're using the GoPro 9 right now and we're using the um, the, the max lenses and so we're gonna continue to use the max lenses hopefully we can find something that's cheaper because I can't keep paying a hundred dollars um, so or that there's something like an ND filter or, or some type of protection that can go over it the problem is, is you've got that kind of concaved lens on it so you really can't put a protector on it where this one god i don't know this one's flat it's like you can almost put a piece of protectant film over it so it might last longer so um thank you guys again for sticking around uh if you guys are familiar with the channel get ready because the uh, s1000 single r is getting a full exhaust system today so we're going to do a four four part video so stay tuned but thank you guys again uh do the normal hit the subscribe button smash the like button and then ring that bell notification the bell notification is going to give you future notification of future content on the channel but thank you guys for uh stopping by visiting hopefully this was informational to you and uh, i will link everything down below thank you guys again and we'll see you next video bye guys